Today we're going to be taking a look at a four center double meg pouch here from Amazon and that's coming up next here on Just to Be Outdoors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. What I got here is a budget friendly double meg pouch here. What we're going to do is we're going to take it over to the table, unbox it. I'm going to tell you about some of the features on it. And then we're going to take a look at it and I'm going to show you some of the magazines I have that will fit in this. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's pop this open now and see what all comes with it here. First thing we got in here looks like the part that attaches to the belt here. That looks like a nice thick piece right there. Got our hardware here with a couple of screws in it. And it looks like maybe a couple of spacers or something. We'll have to find out what that is. And then we've got our double meg pouch here. You can see that it's made from polymer. So let's go over some of the features about this. The four center double meg pouch holder will fit most nine millimeter and 40 caliber double stack magazines. This bag holder covers magazines from Glock, Sig, Smith & Wesson, Beretta, Taurus, Walther, Springfield, Browning, H&K, Ruger, Colt, CZ, and many others. This make holder is made from superior polymer material that is sturdy and durable that is also heat resistant and scratch resistant. And the nice thing is this only weighs in at three ounces. Now we got two different mounting holes here you can see and you can mount this up in numerous different locations here on this mount. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put one right there and then I'm going to put this one up here so I can adjust the can of it. I think that's going to be the best way to do it to make it fit the way you want it, but they give you plenty of options to do that. Now to open up the belt clip to adjust it, put it on your belt, and uh, mount it, all you do is there's a little ledge right here where I got my thumbnail. Flip that open here, and then what you're going to do is you're going to grab this piece here, pinch it together, that opens it up for the mounting area, and then what we have over here is a way to adjust this with your belt, you just loosen up that screw there, get it to the size belt you need, and then you tighten it back down. That'll lock it down to your belt, and then you just close it back up here, snap it together, and put the lock back over it, and that's how it's held together. So now I'm going to put this together so you guys can see what it looks like all together. First thing I'm going to do is show you how to adjust this to your belt before I get it all put together. First thing we're going to do is unlock it again, flip that over, pinch these two together to unlock it, now we got our slider here. If you want the belt on this side, slide it this way. If you want the belt on this side, you just slide it that way. Now this is gonna vary on you which way you wanna do it. And you might change it a couple times to figure out what you want. I'm gonna take this carry belt here. I'm gonna put it on this side. I'm gonna hold that right there, flip this over, and I'm gonna lock it down here. Make sure it's completely locked. I'm gonna flip it over. Then once again, I'm gonna push it, hold it with my two fingers right here, just like this, and with my fingers on each end, grab my screwdriver, and I'm gonna tighten the lock up here, and that'll have it adjusted for your belt. So now we're gonna mount the belt clip to the mag pouch here, and what we're gonna do is our normal here, we're gonna flip this over here, unlock it, pinch it. Now you got the holes here, and you got a bunch of different options on this. Now on the make pouch here, you got two holes right here. You can see they're offset from this one because it's further retention. So you're just gonna line those holes up the way you want it and then grab your screws and put them in and tighten them down. I wanna use the cant, so I'm just gonna put this one in that top hole here, tighten it down. Then I'm gonna put the screw in this bottom one here and I'm not gonna tighten it down yet until I find out where I want it. But now to demonstrate, there you go for the can adjustment and that's why I want it in that spot. And just so you know you got it right, you flip it back over and you'll see four center right here. And that's the way it should be to mount up on your belt because you would lock that down here, flip this over, lock it in, and then that way there's no way of knocking this down to where this would fall off your belt. Now I'm gonna show you some different magazines that'll fit in this mag pouch here. What I got right here is some Breda 92FS. These are actually a military version of the M9 magazines. They pop right in here, pop in with no problem. And like I said, 
they're holding in right here by this and there's one in the back that you can barely see right there and it holds them pretty good these ones are empty i'll get some full ones here in a second you can see those fit just fine now what we got for the next one is some canic tp9 sfx magazines these are 20 rounders these pop right in with no problem shake them no issues at all let's try some loaded magazines and see how they work now the first magazines i showed you was 15 round breaded magazines the second ones i showed you those were 20 round canic tp9 sfx magazines what we got here now is some sig sour p365 xl 12 round mags that are loaded with ammo we're going to pop these on in here and I'm going to show you that I'm not holding on to these that hold the magazines in. Shake this all day long. They're not coming out. So now let's try the one that's always difficult on these, the Glock magazines. Now we got the Glock magazines, and I can tell you right now, you got to put these in. They don't fit that good. That's where the retention screw comes in. Now I'm going to loosen this up a little bit to make sure that these fit in here right. Now, anybody that owns a Glock and another gun that has a double stack magazine, they can tell you the Glock magazine is a lot thicker than the other magazines. That's why I wanted to demonstrate this for you. Now, I loosened up the tension screw on it. Now, these will pop in here. Absolutely no problem. And once again, with that screw adjusted, they're not going anywhere. Now, I just wanted to show you guys, I was using two different mag pouches while I was doing my video. I was using this one for Glocks and this one for everything else. Now what this does, this one right here replaces both of those, and that's why I think I'm going to really enjoy it. Also with this one, it had the paddle on it, and I didn't like the way that felt. And then this one has belt loops, so every time I wanted to use it, I had to take my belt on and off. With this one, we have this locking system on there, and I don't have to worry about either one of those. So as you can see, this is used on multiple magazines, which I really like just by adjusting that screw, like I just demonstrated. I had two different mag holsters to put mags in when I was doing videos, one for if I was doing Glocks and one for everything else. Now I can use just this one mag holster and this is a really good price one on Amazon and it takes care of every magazine I got for a double stack 9mm and it works for 42 if you have a 40. So if you guys want to check this out, I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check this out on Amazon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. We are One Nation Under God, and I'll see you all on the next one.